Hey, what's up guys, Lego Kid here, and today in front of me I have the biggest Lego City set of this wave, and this here is set number 60372, and also called the Lego City Police Training Academy. Now this set retails for $100 in the US, this set also contains 123 pieces, and along with 6 minifigures. So let's go ahead and begin the set review, starting off with the minifigs. So here's the first minifigure, and this is the police chief of the academy. So first off, she doesn't have a new torso print. It's actually a reused torso print from past LEGO City sets with one particular named character. Anyways, uh, nothing new with the torso print, nothing new about the legs here. She does have a new face print in this set, and she has no other alternate facial expression. And her hair piece is also um, not really new. And if you want to, you can swap out her hair piece for her police cap that also comes in this set. And here is the second minifigure, and this is the police trainer. Now, all of the prints and pieces for him are actually new to this set. So first off, he does have a new torso print with the whistle and police logo printed at the front. Nothing special with the back printing and nothing new about the legs here. And in the set, he does have two new facial expressions. So one is where he's happy and cheerful about something. And the other expression is where he's kind of worried or maybe curious about something. His hair piece, I don't think it's new to this set. I mean, I could be wrong. But anyways, if you want to, you can also swap out his hair piece for the alternate bike helmet piece in this set. So here is one of the four students in this set. So first off, he does have a new torso print, which is pretty basic, but it is also a new torso print for this year and also especially new to this set. And it's also a reused torso print for some other minifigures in this set as well. And as you can see at the front, here is the police symbol printed on and nothing much at the back here. Um, nothing new about the leg printing. Now, in this side, he does, however, have a new face print with a hearing aid in on the side, which is nice detailing. And as for his facial expression, he just has a simple smiley face and no other alternate facial expressions. And his hair piece isn't new to this side either. And if you want to, you can swap out his hair piece for his alternate helmet that also comes in the set for when he's ready for the obstacle course. So here's the second student and she reuses the same torso print as the guy before with the basic looking torso print and same leg printing, nothing special. Now she does have two new facial expressions in the set. One is where she looks pretty confident and she does have a printed blue headband. And the other one is where she has the same blue headband and she looks pretty tired. And she also has a new hair piece in this set, which I really like the mold for. And if you want to, you can swap out her hair piece for her helmet that also comes in this set. And here is the second female student. And again, she has the same torso print as the other two students and nothing new with the legs here. She does, however, have two new facial expressions in the set. So one is where she's happy and cheerful about something. And the other one is where she's kind of concerned or worried. But um, as for her hair piece, um, it's not new to the set. And again, if you want to, you can swap out her hair for her helmet that also comes in the set. And here's the last student, and there's nothing much to say about this guy. Same torso print and same leg piece here. He does actually have two new facial expressions in this set. So one is where he has a pretty confident look on his face and all happy. And the other one is where he's tired and all sweaty. And there's nothing new about his hair piece. And if you want to, you can swap out his hair for his helmet. And seeing as how this is a police station sort of set, you would think LEGO would include a canine dog, right? Well, instead, they actually give you a horse for the students to train with. So I actually like the inclusion of the horse here. So first of all, if you want to adjust the position of the horse and the way it's standing, you can simply adjust the hind legs like this to make it stand straight up. Or if you want to, you can also adjust the angle of the neck here. I also like the printing at the front with the saddle kind of going around the face. And not only that, but there's also a brick in the middle of the horse's body, which you can simply remove. And you can also replace that empty gap with the saddle that also comes in this set. So yeah, really like the inclusion of the horse here and how it's being used. 
So here's the first build, and this is a police ATV. So first off, I love the use of the highlighter yellow um, color for the ATV rims here. And not only that, but you can even twist and turn the ATV however you want to. It's not a new feature from LEGO City, and you can simply just twist and turn the wheels. And here you can see about one to two minifigures, one for the driver's seat and one at the back here. So yeah, pretty basic build, but nice to include to this set. I also forgot to mention this, but for the build of the obstacle course, it's actually built on a new type of Lego City road plate in green. Now this time it's completely covered with studs and you can place some different bricks on here. So yeah, this is how the new type of road plate is being used. And I almost forgot to mention this, but for the build of the obstacle course, it's actually built on a new type of Lego City road plate in green. Now this time the plate is completely covered with studs. You can place minifigures and some other bricks on here. And as you can see from the bottom, it kind of looks more like a junior's base plate. I don't know, but this is what the new type of Lego City plates look like. And here's the build for the Training Academy. So what I'm going to do is take this building apart in three separate modules and go through each part of the building one by one. And then afterwards, I'll put everything back together and give you guys a run through of the entire obstacle course. So here is the first part to the building and starting off on the first floor, here's the entrance and this building has a bunch of these 1x6 doorway pieces in white and here are two of these 1x3 door panels which you can open up. Not very much of a pleasing looking entrance here but it's alright with me. Right above there is a light fixture and also the printed police lettering for some indication that this is a police building. And right above that, there's also some sirens here. And I do like the use of the bike handlebar piece being used. And moving on to the inside, on the first floor, there's just a tool rack. But I actually like the build for this tool rack. So first off, you can swing it out like this just to get some easier access to it. And on it, there are two balls here, which you can place one of the student's helmets like this. Or maybe put the bike helmet on like that or just another few helmets. But anyways, there's also a spot down here which you can also put the horse saddle on and you can push that all back in there. And there you go. Everything is stored away pretty nicely and everything sticks on there pretty well. So yeah, really like the build for the tool rack here and how it easily swings out to get access. So anyways, moving on to the second floor. Here is some office space for the police chief, I assume. So there is a stool and also a desk with a mouse and also a computer. And there's also some new prints here for the computer screen and also the keyboard as well. And there's also a coffee maker because why not? And there's also a red coffee mug on the inside. And there's also some more of these 1x6 doorway pieces with the 1x6 window panels as well. And you can easily pop those out, which I highly doubt you'll need to. And moving on to the outside of the building again, here's the first part of the obstacle course, which is a rock climbing wall, which I will demonstrate how this all works very shortly. And on the roof, there are also some more parts to the obstacle course. But anyways, you can take apart each part of this building one by one into three separate modules. So if you want to take the roof here and put it on the first floor, like that then go for it i mean um there are some more modules in here that you can put on this building and maybe rearrange everything here like the first second and third floor i don't know but maybe you can get somewhat creative with all of the different modules you could take apart from the building and here is the second part to the building and starting off on the first floor here is a horse stable for the horse and on the outside there is a brown bucket with a carrot in it now you do have to watch out for this carrot because it can fall out very easily and there's also a clip with a brush on it and you can pretend like you're brushing the horse at some point point. and at the back here you can get some more access inside the stable and to get the horse inside first off you have to open up this gate here and you can grab the horse and just um, slide him on in there. You may have to angle the horse's neck down just a little bit. Close up the gate and there you go. The horse is inside the stable. So I actually kind of like the look for the horse stable here and how the horse fits in there very well. And right above the stable there's also a light fixture and also a flower bed. And same thing goes with the other side. Light fixture, flower pot. And here is the garage for the ATV. And between the horse stable and the garage... There is a doorway 
uh, which you can have a minifigure walk through. Now, I don't know why there's a doorway because you can't even really fit a minifigure inside the garage um, unless if you have the ATV out of here. But here, it, yeah, you can't even really fit the ATV inside the garage. I mean, it's a pretty tight fit, but still, you can get it in there. Um, either that or maybe it's an obstacle like you have to have somebody jump over the hood of the ATV to get on it. But either way, yeah, it's a very tight space for a garage here. Anyways, at the back, there are four of these double cheese slow pieces in black. And there's also three spots where you can put three of these cones that also come in this set. And moving on to the second floor, here is the gym or workout area for the students. So first off, here is a training dummy that looks like a criminal because of the hat piece being used. And there's also a pair of handcuffs on the wall. And if you want to, you can grab these and maybe put them on the um, training dummy like that. And there's also some uh, dumbbells here in green, and you can easily take those off. And there's also a weight bench as well, you can, and you can have a minifigure just be put on there like that. And I also love the build for this um, weight bench here, and also you can easily put the barbell on here like that. And I also like the build for the barbell with the three red weights on each side. So yeah, I would say this is a pretty good looking gym here for the students to train in. And on the outside, there's also a really nice looking build for a police badge here to also represent that this is a police training academy. And there's also the use of the um, police uh, sticker logo. And you, again, like I showed you guys before, you can easily remove each part of this building into three different modules and rearrange it however you want to. And here is the build for the roof. And on here, there is a set of monkey bars in red using the red roller coaster track piece. And there's also a clip here with the, um, I call pizza roller piece. And there's also um, some more of the highlighter yellow um, arrows being used as well. And I'll explain more about how this obstacle works later on. So anyways, that's it for the build of this second part to the building. And I also forgot to mention that between the roof of the second part to the building and also the third part to the obstacle course, there's actually a long strain here which you can attach to the monkey bars like that. And I'll explain how this um, zip line feature works later on. So here is the third part to the building and also the last part to the obstacle course. So basically how this works is when the minifigure gets to this pad over here, they will jump onto the block and you can make them go forward by simply turning this gear at the back. And I absolutely love this play feature. It just works so well. And I think this is a lead screw sort of function. But anyways, I also love some of the new pieces as well, like this black block here and also this long gray screw piece. Yeah, this play feature works very well and I absolutely love it. Anyways, along the way, there are some more obstacles. So uh, there are some buttons and switches at the back. So if you press down on this button, then you can try to make the minifigure get knocked off. So you can make the sign pop out like that. And there you go. So you can knock the minifigure off just like that. And at the front here is the four by four um, white tile piece and also the sticker on it with the caution logo. I love the sign design. And if you keep going along in the middle of the obstacle course, there is a, a red punching bag. So you can try to also knock the minifigure off that way by pressing down on this switch at the back. And there you go. So the minifigure has been knocked off. And when you get to the end here, all the minifigure has left to do is just jump onto these uh, two red pads. So boin, boin, and there you go. They're at the end of the obstacle course and they have completed all of their training. So here is a statue with their um, police hat ready to go. And there's also two flags with the blue um, police logo on here. So yeah, I really love this build for the obstacle course and how everything is so well built. I can't tell if these blue base plates are meant to represent water or just a simple type of color. Uh, anyways, again, I really love the build for the obstacle course and it works very well. So anyways, let's go ahead and put everything back together and I'll show you guys the entire obstacle course. And for each part of the building, there are three of these connectors being used. And we're back at the rock wall, which is meant to be the first part of the obstacle course. So basically how this works is at the top, there is a gear and also another set of rope, which you can unwind. 
and then you can take the minifigure from the bottom and then clip them on to this handlebar right here and going back to the top you can twist this gear and you can make them walk up the rock wall like that and as you can see there's also some studs on the wall here so if you want to you can position them like that so i honestly think this is a really cool play feature and also adding to the design for the entire obstacle course and i also love the architecture and the build for this rock wall and also the use of the highlighter yellow arrow pieces being used to make a sort of direction of where the students go for the course but anyways once you're done winding this back up you can flip the student over to the next part of the course and here is the second part of the course, and once the minifigure gets to the other side, they will then have to jump over these two red bars, which is a pretty easy challenge, but the real challenge is trying to make it across this big gap in between the two buildings. So I guess the minifigure has to make a risky jump to get to the other side, or you can just disconnect these two connectors in between the building and then put the building side by side, and that will be a lot easier. But anyways... Here are the monkey bars, and the monkey bars are made up of one of these red roller coaster track pieces. And you can simply attach a minifigure on here like that, and you're also able to attach um, them onto one of the angled bars here uh, like that. And once they get across, they will then jump off and then grab this I call pizza roller accessory piece. So then going back around, this is the fun part of the entire obstacle course and probably the best play feature in this set. So basically you will attach the pizza roller to the minifigure and then you can attach the roller onto this uh, rope here and then they will just slide down like that. And I think that's a really good play feature. It's kind of like a zip line and I just love how smoothly this works. They will go straight down and the thing is you can't have the minifigure on here like that or else yeah they won't go whatsoever so you kind of have to have them laying down and they will just go straight down so i absolutely love this play feature so anyways once they get to the bottom they will then jump onto this block avoid the two obstacles and then they will jump onto these two pads and they have finished the obstacle course and now they're finished with all of their training so that is pretty much it for the build of the training academy here i absolutely love the design for each and every obstacle in this set with the um, sort of wipeout sort of setting with the um, boards the um, the moving block here and also the pads and not only that but the zip line is also a very fun play feature the monkey bars the rock climbing wall is just amazing yeah, I really love the design for this training academy and everything that the building has with it. So anyways, that is pretty much it for all of the builds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. For the box art, nothing much has changed about the typical look for the LEGO City box art. At the front, here's all the set information along with the main set picture. And at the back here, there are some more action shots of the set. And in this set, we have five different instruction booklets. So at the back of the first one, here is a list of all the bricks and pieces. And then there's also an advertisement for some of the other 2023 LEGO City sets. I'm hoping I could get the Vehicles HQ sometime, as well as the garbage truck and maybe the park tractor. I don't know. And I'm kind of on the fence about the gaming tournament truck. But anyways, um, at the back of the second one, there is no advertisements at the back of the third one, um, no advertisements either. At the back of the fourth one, uh, no advertisements. And at the back of the fifth one, this is the biggest instruction booklet here. And at the back, no advertisements. So overall, this set in general is just really amazing. I love all of the different builds for the different stuff that you get included here, like the build for the obstacle course, the training academy, the ATV, the horses obstacle course, and also the minifigures included. Yeah, this set is really amazing. I love all of the different play features like the zip line, the block moving, and also the um, rock climbing wall. Yeah, this set is really amazing, and I absolutely love it, and I'm glad I got it. And for this set being $100, I would say that's actually a pretty decent price and seeing as how this is a 823 piece set 
with six minifigures and a bunch of different fun builds. Yeah, this set is really amazing and I would highly recommend getting it. But anyways, that is pretty much it for today's video. Please make sure to subscribe, like it, and stay tuned for more videos to come on the channel. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one.